Hey, Rachel. Listen, I have something to tell you. Oh, I got married today! What? You got married? You mean you got a proper license and everything? I didn't even know you were seeing anyone. Yep, my husband and I went to the courthouse today and got a judge to sign our marriage license. Oh my goodness, I still need to get used to calling him my husband. That's great, but this is too sudden. Did you even tell mom and dad about this yet? How could you do that without telling anyone? Why do I need to do that? I'm a grown woman, I can make my own decisions. Besides, I couldn't wait to put a ring on this man. I want to tell everyone that he's mine. Plus, I didn't want anyone to take him away from me, including you. Why would I try to steal your husband? You know that I'm going to get married soon, too. I don't have eyes for anyone else. That's true. How silly of me to have forgotten your wedding is tomorrow! Yes, in close to 24 hours, I'm also going to be a married woman. Ah, uh, I forgot to tell you one very important little detail. It was Jake that I married today. Come again? <laughs> I think you know who I mean. Your Jake is now my Jake. I took him from you. I'm his wife now. I'm the new Mrs. Jake Sharp, not you. Wait, I must not be following the conversation. What are you saying right now? Jake has been cheating on me with you. And now the two of you are married. That's right! I'm his wife! <laughs> it still feels so weird saying that! And this is how you thought you'd tell me. What the hell is the matter with you? Rachel, calm down! I wanted to tell you in person, but we're getting ready for our honeymoon now. But the fact is that we got married the day before you were supposed to get married. I think this goes without saying, but just in case, you're gonna have to cancel your wedding tomorrow. Oh my god, I can't believe you right now. Oh, and just so you know, Jake was the one that came on to me. He was the one that started all this. He texted me one day and invited me out. Will you just shut up, please? I just can't even process all of this right now. I can't believe you do something like this. I trusted you. I can imagine how overwhelming this must be for you. You thought you finally met your dream guy? The elite co-worker everyone was drooling over? Good looking and pulling in a huge salary? It must have seemed like you won the jackpot. You thought that you were going to get your fairy tale ending after you married him. But then your beautiful little sister comes along and steals him right in front of your eyes. Oh, I'd be pretty distraught too if I were you. I'm going to ask you again. Did you really get married to Jake? You're being serious. You're not just trying to mess with me. There would be no way that I would joke about something as serious as this. Do you want to see your marriage certificate? That should be all the proof that you need. I can even give you a copy if you want. I don't need that. Oh my goodness. Do you have any idea what you just did? You're married to your sister's fiancé the day before your sister's wedding? What kind of person are you? Well, isn't that better than getting married on the day of your wedding? I was trying to be nice to you. Do you think this is funny or something? Well, to be honest, you had this coming. You and Jake weren't even a good match in the first place. He's too good for you. There's something wrong with you if you really thought that you could marry a guy like him. What the hell is that supposed to mean? To put it bluntly, you have nothing going on for you. You're too stiff and serious. You're also not exactly beautiful either. But Jake, on the other hand, is like a Greek god, and he's the number one salesperson in your department. He has a long, successful, and bright future ahead of him. He's only in his 20s, but he's already in charge of so many sales projects. Yeah, I know all that, Lita. He was my fiancé and we worked together. I know all about his job. Of course I know that he's a catch, charming and successful and handsome. All the girls at the office used to gossip about him back before we started seeing each other. They were all so jealous. If only they knew. 
That sounds just like my Jake. I can totally see him being fawned over by everyone. But he chose to marry me, so I'm quite summing myself too. I just won in life. What? Aren't you becoming a little too full of yourself? Unlike you, I'm the perfect match for him. I'm young, and I'm beautiful, not to mention I'm really charming. It's a match made in heaven. We make a beautiful couple. Now you know the truth, just give up on Jake, okay? Don't try to cling to him like wet laundry. He's my husband now. He's mine. Oh, that would make him your brother-in-law. Funny how that turned out. I don't care anymore. I wouldn't want a man that would put his hands on his fiancée's sister anyway. You can have him. Have a great life with that tool. Hi, Rachel. Sorry to be contacting you on the day before your wedding, but... Have you seen Jake? I can't find him anywhere. Hello, Jonathan. I found a note from him in the living room this morning. It says that he doesn't want anyone to look for him. We don't have any idea why he'd write that, but he just disappeared. Uh, how should I put this? We tried to call him, but he didn't pick up. Again, I'm so sorry to have to tell you this the day before your wedding. I know they say that it's bad luck for the groom to see the bride the night before the wedding, but we need to look for him. We need to find him. I need to know that he's safe. Can you help us look? Jonathan, please calm down. You don't need to worry about the wedding. It's all taken care of. But I'm sorry to say that I can't help you. I don't have a clue where he went either. But I do know who he's with. Really, that's important information. Yes. Please remain calm when I tell you this. Please. Please also know that I will be fine as well. What do you mean? Who is he with? What's going on here? How can I get in contact with him? I want to hear it straight from Jake. What did he mean when he left that note? I can't believe he ran away before his wedding. Actually, he's with my younger sister. I'm not sure if there's really any need to get in contact with them. He's with your younger sister now. Why? What's going on here? Yeah, it's kind of a long story. This is hard for me to tell you. It seems that Jake and my sister eloped this morning. What? Eloped? Yeah, this is so embarrassing for me to have to say. But that seems to be the case. My sister messaged me a little bit ago. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry, Rachel. Are you okay? To be honest, I don't know. My fiancé and my sister both betrayed me. The two of them decided to get married the day before my own wedding. Whatever else I thought, I didn't expect something like this to happen. God, I'm mortified. Me too. I'm so sad, so embarrassed, and so ashamed of what happened. It's not your fault. There's no need for you to be ashamed of anything, dear. Let me get this straight, though. You're saying that your sister and Jake were having an affair, and the two of them decided to elope this morning, but you don't know where they are. Yeah, I don't know. Sorry. My sister just said they were on their honeymoon. I'm really sorry that this happened. No, you did nothing wrong. You have absolutely nothing to apologize about. It was that stupid son of mine who betrayed you. You're not to blame at all. This is all my son's fault. I'm the one that should be apologizing. I can't even express how ashamed I am of my son. I'm so sorry for what he did to you. It isn't your fault either. You don't need to apologize either, Jonathan. No, it is my responsibility as his parent. I thought that we taught him better than that. Of course I understand that this is beyond just an apology. I will make my son deal with the consequences of his mistake, don't you worry about that. Money won't solve anything either, but it's a start at least. I'll make him pay whatever you need, name whatever amount you think is appropriate. He will pay every penny of it, I promise you that. It's okay, I don't need any money. I will be honest with you, I'm kind of relieved that everything has been called off. What do you mean? It's a bit late in the afternoon, but would it be okay if I were to go to your house today? 
I want to sit down with you and Carol and have a proper talk about what happened. Yes, of course you can. You know you're welcome here anytime. We can talk about what steps need to be taken from here and how we can help you out moving forward. There must be something we can give you to ease things. Really, Jonathan, I don't need anything. I'm not coming over to talk about compensation. What? Are you sure? Yes, there's a lot I need to do. But the first thing is that I need to call the venue to cancel the wedding. I'll go to your house as soon as I'm done with that. I don't understand why you wouldn't want any money, but okay. Of course we're here to talk if that's what you need. Thank you very much. Please don't hesitate to let me know anything you need, though. You don't have to decide now either. Just know that we're always here to help. I appreciate that. Oh, and could you do me a favor? If Jake calls you before I get there, could you please act like you haven't heard from me? Please act all flustered and ask him where he is. Could you do that for me? Yes, of course, I'll do that if he calls. Thank you. Okay, then. I'll see you soon. Hey, sis! Where do you think I'm at now? Take a wild guess! Why are you asking this so suddenly? Are you really gonna tell me where you and Jake ran off to? I wouldn't call it running off. It's a honeymoon. I got a message from Jake's father. He told me that Jake left a note saying that he doesn't want anyone to look for him. Really? No way. Jake really wrote that? That's so funny. So, where are you right now? His parents are frantic. They're looking for him everywhere. Oh, you guys are too funny. There's no way anyone is going to find us. So, you're in a place that you think no one will find you. Might as well make a game out of this. Why don't we play 20 questions? Where do you think Jake and I are now? Mm, let me see. Are you two sitting in a tree? What? That's such a stupid guess. Well, you two are pretty stupid. I thought a stupid guess would probably be the most appropriate. Are you making fun of us right now? Nope, I was being serious. That's me, I'm always too serious. Care to tell me where you two really are then? You're gonna tell me the truth, right? We're in a plane, about to take off. I'll give you points for being close. We're sitting somewhere above ground, just not in a tree. <laughs> oh, okay, so where are you going? That's not how 20 questions work. You just always have to spoil the fun, don't you? But I guess maybe you're not really in the mood for fun. You did just have your fiancé stolen from you. The day before your wedding, I might add. But surprisingly, you're taking it very well. You don't seem very angry. There's no point being angry. It's not like it's going to help anything. I've come to terms with things. Good for you! See, there are some good aspects to being a serious old killjoy. Anyway, we're taking off soon for our honeymoon. We're definitely not coming back, no matter what anyone says. Fine, so then tell me, where are you guys headed? Jake and I were going to Costa Rica. I'll give you guys the smallest benefit of the doubt that you're not just stealing my plan, so let's see. If you guys are going by plane, then it means you're going to a different coastline. I'm going with California. Wrong! We're heading to a place that's even better than California. Not California, even though you've always talked about going to LA. LA is not exotic enough for us. If you really want to know, I'll tell you. We're going to Dubai. Not just for our honeymoon. Jake and I are moving there. You're moving to Dubai. Yeah. People are already finding out that I stole Jake. I'm already getting a lot of texts from different people. We don't want to hear any negativity from anyone, so we're getting out of the country where no one will bother us. You think the answer to your problems lie in Dubai? Whose bright idea was that? Yours? No, it was my idea. Jake was the one that came up with the plan. He wanted to take this opportunity that we have and start fresh. He saved a lot of money while he was working. 
so he said that he has plenty money for us to move there. I see. So that's how it is. I'm sitting here about to start my new life with my new husband in a new country. I'm so happy. Doesn't it just suck that this could have been you? Hashtag sorry, not sorry. <laughs> like I said, you had it coming. If only you knew how to take care of yourself, this probably wouldn't have happened. You only have yourself to blame. You're the ugly duckling in the family that never grew up to be a swan. Really? You really want to attack me even at this stage? It's so funny because I didn't even have to try very hard to take him from you. Oh, your life is just a tragedy. Who else can say that they had their fiancé stolen by their sister? And to have it happen a day before her wedding, too. Actually, I'm counting this as a blessing. I was about to call everything off myself anyway. What? You never said anything about that. This really isn't a problem for me. There's nothing to pity here and nothing for you to worry about. I'm absolutely fine. You're fine. Then explain. What do you mean that you were going to call everything off anyway? You and Jake were about to break it off? I was feeling that the relationship was over for me. What? You were done. Yeah, I was mulling things over and trying to figure out how to end things. It was the day before the ceremony itself, after all. I couldn't come up with a good way. So actually, I'm grateful for what you did. Thank you. You helped me a lot when you ran off with him. What? I don't understand this at all. What do you mean you wanted to break up with Jake? He's perfect. What the hell were you thinking? A lot of things happened. Oh, I get it. You were getting cold feet. That's why you were going to call it off. I didn't take you for the type to have commitment issues. What? When did I say I had commitment issues? Oh, I know. You were worried that you couldn't live up to his expectations. That's so funny because it's so true. He'd be bored of you even before the ink dried on your marriage license. It took you long enough to realize that. What are you talking about? You keep making all these assumptions, but none of them are right. I didn't get cold feet. I don't have any commitment issues. I don't have an inferiority complex. Oh, really? Then tell me, what were your reasons for wanting to end things? I wanted to end things with him because he's a criminal. What? What do you mean that he's a criminal? Last week I found something on his computer. It just so happened that his calendar was open. He'd marked down the day that we met, but beside it he wrote a comment. It said that if he married someone from accounting, he could embezzle more money. Embezzle more money? Yeah, and there were lots more notes like that. Then it became more and more evident that these weren't just plans, he was actually carrying them out. He actually did it? Yeah, so it doesn't even matter if you say that we didn't match. I thought that he really liked me, but he was really looking for someone to help him commit his crime. I knew that I had to find some way to call our wedding off. Why didn't you tell me? It wasn't something you needed to know. You said that he saved a lot of money, right? But sorry to inform you, that's probably the company's money that he embezzled. That can't be. It is, though. His real bank account is really empty. No! Stop it! I'm afraid it's true. While the two of you have been messing around, doing God knows what, I've been gathering up all the evidence I need to turn him in. I have everything I need, though, so I'll be informing the company today. Really? He is in so much trouble! That's right. And not just him. You're in the same boat. Hope you two have a great time together while it lasts. I have a feeling you'll be back much sooner than you were expecting, though. Maybe you'll have enough time to walk around the airport before the police nab you. Have fun! You kept that from me on purpose! How could you do this to me? My life is ruined! Hey, Rachel, I've got an update. We got into Jake's apartment and we found a ton of evidence on its desk. It's all true. 
Yeah, sorry you have to find out like this, Jonathan. I thought my son was a good and honest man. I am so disappointed in him. He was embezzling money to pay off his debts. Two things that I thought he would never do. My company's gonna file a complaint soon. The police will start their investigation after that. I imagine it won't be long until they issue a warrant for his arrest. They'll also be in contact with you very shortly. I'm sorry to have to put you through this, but will you cooperate in the investigation? Yes, of course we will. By the way, do you happen to know how much my son has embezzled so far? I added up everything in the documents we found and it came out to over one million dollars. I think the estimation for what he embezzled is closer to two million dollars, actually. Two. Million. Dollars. And I think he was planning to embezzle even more than that. But I think he was afraid that he'd get caught. Now he's fled the country with my sister under the guise of eloping and starting a new life. What an embarrassment he turned out to be. Jake was probably annoyed at how serious I was. That's why he chose to run off with my sister instead. He probably thought there was no point in having an accountant for a wife if I wasn't willing to help him. So then he found a younger and prettier girl to run off with together. As his father, I want to do everything that I can to make this right. I really am sorry for that son of mine. The only person who should be sorry is the person that committed the crime. Well, and the idiot who eloped with him. Mitchell, please! Come and get me! Please, you have to help me! Save me! What's wrong? After we landed, Jake and I tried to run as far as we could. But Jake's father came all the way to Dubai. Now he says he's taking the both of us back home as soon as the police let us out of custody. Oh wow, Jonathan's really amazing. I was surprised when he told me how nicely the local authorities were cooperating. As soon as we landed and got out of customs, there were men waiting for us. They grabbed Jake and took him away. I was gonna run away, but Jake held on to me. Why would he do that? I don't know. They separated us after anyway. I've already spent a week in this airport all alone. Please come to Dubai and get me. No way. You were the one that ran away. This is your fault. It would have been better if they locked the both of you up together. But I didn't do anything. I didn't embezzle any money. I'm innocent. Everyone knows it. That's why they didn't lock me up with him. Oh, yeah? Anyway, ask someone else to help you. You are still the woman that stole her sister's fiancé. You don't get lower than that. It doesn't really matter to me that I was going to break up with him anyway. You're still just as despicable in my book. I already asked everyone I know. But even when I begged them, no one said they'll help. Mom and Dad wouldn't even answer my phone calls. Well, of course they wouldn't. They're furious at you. I think they even blocked your number. My own parents threw me away. They gave up on me. I can't believe my own family is this cold-hearted. Look who's talking. It's only natural. Rachel, I'm really sorry that I stole Jake from you. But I never thought that something like this would happen. I'm a victim here, too. I'm innocent. Please, stand up for me. Save me! What? Why would I do that? I only have you. You're the only one I have left to turn to. I'm gonna divorce Jake. I'll do it as soon as I get home. So I'm asking you to please let what happened in the past go. I'm not sure it's gonna be that easy to get yourself out of this situation. Sure it will. I'll divorce him and that's that. Who wants to be the wife of a man who embezzled money from his own company? If I divorce Jake, then I don't have anything to do with it. I'll just be your little sister again. So please, you have to come and save your little sister. But you were his wife. Since you married him and ran off with him, you also used the money that he took. How else did you think he was able to buy airline tickets to Dubai? I wouldn't want to be an accessory to a $2 million embezzlement case. It sounds like a really messy situation. What do you mean accessory? What does that mean? 
That's someone who profits off someone else's crime and helps them to try and escape. I think that fits you to a T, don't you? Running off to Dubai with your new hubby, spending his ill-gotten gains. Jake's dad messaged me earlier as well. Apparently Jake was using the money that he got from embezzling to pay off his debts. What? He had debt. Are you surprised? Certainly you realized he was no angel by this point. It seems like he was practically drowning in gambling debt. Originally, he was using the embezzled money to pay that off, but it seems like once he got the idea to run off to Dubai, he just let the interest keep piling up. It does not sound pretty at all. <laughs> no way. Anyway, even if that's true, it has nothing to do with me. I had no idea about any of it. Well, maybe yes, maybe no. You believe me, right? You know I wouldn't do anything like that. I don't know any such thing. All I know is that you're the type of woman who would steal her own sister's fiancé and try to run off to another country. No! I swear to God, I had no idea about any embezzling or gambling debts. I thought Jake was just really rich and successful and honest. You have to believe me. Help me! Well, I suppose that'll be for the judge to decide, won't it? If you're telling the truth, I'm sure you'll get off. I don't imagine life is going to be much fun until then, though. And those legal fees. Well, I shudder to think. Oh my god, no! How could this happen? This is unthinkable! I mean, it's not that unthinkable. You think about it. All you had to do was just be a little less of a garbage person, and none of this would have happened to you. I mean, all you had to do was literally not marry your sister's fiancé, and you would have been fine. Will you shut up? You don't need to rub it in right now. Really? It seems like all you could do was rub things in when you thought you were headed off to start your new life in Dubai with my fiancé. Lay off me. I'm sorry, okay? How many times do you want me to say sorry? What are you, some kind of sadist? Your sister needs your help. Are you really just gonna sit there and watch me suffer? No, I'm not really interested in watching you do anything. I'm gonna go ahead and block your number and trust that you can sort out your mess for yourself. I can't! I can't even afford to take it back home! I'm sure you'll be deported sooner or later. You'll figure it out. I'll be cheering you on in my heart, don't worry. But of course, I'm never going to lift even a single finger to help you. After hours of calling everyone that she ever knew, no one went to get my sister. Eventually, she and Jake were shipped back home and immediately taken to jail. I hear Lita caused quite a scene the whole time, shouting at Jake for a divorce and telling him how much she hated him. But even after she divorced him, they stayed tied together in the ensuing legal battle against my company. As for me, I had to leave that company. There was just too much that had happened and too many bad memories. Fortunately, I was able to find another job through some connections that Jonathan had. My new job pays a higher salary and has more benefits. With this new job at a better company, I finally feel like I've finally broken out of my cycle of bad luck. Things are only going up from here.